Hey guys, this is Doss here again. Welcome to your daily dose of awesome. Uh, it's King Jeffrey versus Lithuania flag. And that sigil does not look like a flag, but I'm assuming the colors might be Lithuanian. I'm not too sure. Well, this match was didn't seem like such a mismatch when we first started it. Let's see, we have 19 Town Hall 10s with this war. And they had 23 plus this one down here, 24. But, I mean, it was clear that our bases were indeed a bit stronger um, on average. But considering they had five more Town Hall 10s than we had, maybe four more with Infernos, uh, you know, it should have basically uh, been about even. Let's, uh, let's see, that guy's completely maxed. Guy's got max go wipe. Max go wipe. Max go wipe. Let's skip a few. Let's see, number eight. He doesn't even have Pekkas. That's not a good sign. He's level 139. What the fuck? Is that the same guy? Is that the same guy? I don't think it... No. Neither of them have Pekkas. Okay. Level four. Uh, level two Pekkas. Okay, well... Looking at their troops, that guy had max everything. I am... Man, max hounds, why did... Maybe he did do air attacks, I don't recall. Max everything. Almost. I don't know, um... Let's see, uh... Okay, maybe he did drags or something, I don't know. But, the, uh... I mean, they didn't really give up, I guess, but at one point when they had 50 attacks, there were 25 won, 25 lost, and we saw some interesting attacks, I must say, some very interesting attacks, as there's one in particular I plan on showing you, and you'll have to wait and see, uh, it has 50, 50 balloons, alright, I'll just tell you, 50 balloons. And I guess I'll show that at the end of the video. So, I guess I'll start off like normal here and show the most heroic attack. Some really cool guy here named Dossier. Let's see what he did. He didn't moor, he didn't bring Zap, and I'm guessing he got pretty lucky. So my guess is, if my queen was, I don't know, level 19 instead of 21, she wouldn't have had enough damage or enough extra archer spawn to actually win that one. I'm surprised I got most heroic there. Definitely. I did not think, you know, after shit started wandering away, I did not think that was going to happen. And there are a couple raids I want to show you. Different from the rest, but... Let's see if they come up in the random number generator first. So that was raid number one. It's 40 on 40, so... Okay, number 30. Our second... Oh, number 30. Jeez, alright. I know who this is. It's Vincent. Apparently we had a lot of attempts on this base. Five attempts, if I recall. And it's a... Pretty interesting base. Not one I would use, but you know, check it out. And 
And I was I was told there were some funny raids against that base. So let me just see who else attacked number 30. Who's that guy? Right is his name. So the first guy I see who attacked right, I'm just going to skip through and see. First one. There's one. Uh, okay, I was looking on the on the left instead of the right. Alright, let's watch. Sorry, Tim. We're going to watch your raid on this guy. Sorry for laughing, but <clears throat> we've seen some funny bases like that that looked deceptively easy that ended up not being so. Whatever. Okay. Our third raid will be 21. 21. Okay. Who we got? Who do we got? Town Hall 10, Burgess by Matt. And, you know, facing Lithuania flag here was almost like going through a time machine back to when wars first started. You see all these anti hog bases with uh, unlorable clan castles, which, you know, it's not a bad thing versus any type of strategy, but, I mean, this is a classic, I forget the name of this base, maybe Hogception or something, but, you know, I think... The original one had some walls intersecting or something. It's supposed to, you know, I'm pretty sure that was an anti-hog base, you know. You know. Okay. Our first, second, third, our fourth raid. Number four, 30 we saw. Okay, this is supposed to be random. 37. 37. Is HBK. How many stars he get? I remember seeing he get six stars many a time. Where is he? There he is, 31. Okay, he almost got a three star in his second one. Back is cleaned up, literally. Literally. I got some. Oh, I had more loons. Okay, that was our fourth raid. Let's see our fifth raid. Will be number fifteen. Fifteen. We actually had a, a three star in a town hall ten again. My neck. Fifteen. By Otto. Another one of these unique bases that seem... Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. Almost anti-hog, but it has multi furnace, so you don't need that, really? I don't know.
Thanks for 8 auto. I mean, a lot of these guys had dragons in the clan castle and stuff, which is not a highly recommended. Damn it, I was late again. It's not a highly re recommended thing to have for most of your clan, I don't think. Fifth raid. 22. I'm not going to tell you what the best thing to have in your clan castle if you're in King Jeffrey. You will know. What is that, 22? Yeah, 22. I've had a little bit more wine than normal time, so... Oh, Otto, we already saw you. Two two-stars on Town Hall 10s. I mean, it's pretty great. Number six. That's Wux, I know it. Against one of our favorite bases to attack. It was almost the identical base on both guys, if not the exact same base. This base, which everyone has seen. We've seen it in every war for the past... At least the past four wars. No a dragon. I don't know which one. <laughs> and that's how you do it. That's one reason not to have identical bases all the time. And these guys only war once a week, so maybe they don't realize it, but if you want to take down this base, I don't know, I guess it probably has a name. It looks like a, not a tic-tac-toe base to use what Bobby said earlier, but, you know, that's, that's the best way to take it down when it has high defenses, just like that. You know, opposite the uh, Infernos, so they're in a line. And heroes at the same time, if you can. It's our fifth raid, number six. Sixth raid will be 28. Ziggy by Zombie. And a very solid, very solid strat there. Seventh raid. You gotta go for this, the safe two star. Our seventh raid is number seven. One of the ones we would have seen if it hadn't come up. Thank you, Nick, for giving us something fun to watch. Nick, one of our elders, and. Ah, interesting. And one of our. Most trusted members, I would say. Most reliable, that's for sure. Oh, man, that was an interesting raid. Very interesting. I didn't see this yet. I had no idea. Wow. Wow. Holy cow. I'm going to watch that one again later. It went by too quick. Alright. Seventh was number seven. Let's see our eighth raid. 36. We're seeing a lot of the lower 30s this time. So we know it's... Oh, it wasn't three starred. J-Dub. I hate this base. If you've seen my past videos, you know I hate this base. Doesn't matter how low it is.
I don't know. Something about this base just pisses me off. You got it. Any? How about some loots? Okay, that was our eighth, right? Yeah. Number nine is number eleven. Arjoda. Okay. Arjoda is about to meet our buddy Wells. Two single infernos. And any uh, plenty of backup troops there, just in case. Good practice. Is that our eighth, right? Or ninth? Yeah, that was our ninth raid, wasn't it? So this is our tenth. Number sixteen. But if we get time, we'll see more. El Goddess. El Goddess. Hitting a base we've seen. Plenty of time. Oh, although, you know what? Never mind. This is different. It's Town Hall 10 version. Strong cleanup. With the minions down south. Nice. Very nice. And I am partial to go vape, so that's fine, Gaff. Sorry. Sorry, the people who do the reliable normal attacks. Ah. Huh. There's also a Town Hall 10 version of this base. Now he's doing a spread out go vape. Now a base like this, with uh, all the air defense in the core, if people outside of King Jeffrey are watching, you'll know about this a strat that you can use against bases like that to 3 star called Holo Wee Wee, which is Hog Saloon's Witch Whiz, which sometimes works, sometimes doesn't, but when it does work, just like Hogs used to be, it's a guaranteed three star. And if Gaff wasn't so good at Go Vape, that's probably another way this could have been three starred. Very nice, Gaff. How much time we at? We got plenty. Oh shit, we're at 20 already? Okay. Man, I gotta hurry it up. I gotta hurry it up. I gotta watch number one get wrecked. Very, uh, very similar to the base that Vox hit, except uh, a little more open in some spots, which typically means a weaker base against golem attacks, at least. And an awesome attack on number one, as always. So, let me just look through here real quick. OK. 
Okay, okay, okay. Okay. If you, uh... If you let me know that you want your raid definitely to be in it, I will put it in. Oh, level up. Nice. And I know Wes before had asked for the last one. I know he's up here somewhere. DJ, wow, two two stars up high. Wes, Wes, there you are. You had asked before, so I know you, you watch it and you like it. <clears throat> and don't forget, coming up soon, we're going to watch the, the 50 loons <laughs> on one of our bases. I'll let you guess whether or not it, it three-starred us or not. It's fun to have these easy wars for a change. I blame Calby. I don't know uh, what you guys think, but it's all Calby's fault when we get hard wars, definitely. Nice raid, Wes. And you know what? I think I saw TK did well. You know what? Ked was most heroic earlier. It probably wasn't on that one, was it? Number 12? Let's see. TK, TK. Or, no, Ked, Ked. Where you at, Ked? I passed you. 16. Zork and Sergen. Zork is 12. Yep, 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 yep. What the hell? Why not? We got... I just don't want to go over the 30-minute mark here. Another dragon. And that's a T star. Okay, moving right along. Let's uh I know TK watches these, so I wanna show one of his rates. I know a lot of people watch, but hey, if you suck up to me with feedback, that's a good way to get your raids in. This was an interesting base to hit. Very open base. I wonder how often these guys uh, see every one of their bases two starred or better. And I think we got a good amount of three stars too. I'm not gonna watch that barb. Okay. How many three stars we get? 12. Yeah, that's pretty good against 40. Last one we had 20, but 12 out of 40 ain't bad either. Alright, time for some fun raids. 20 defense. Okay. It was sort of early on. Alex, that's, that's the one, I'm pretty sure. What's going to happen here? I don't know. <laughs> we couldn't not watch that. We had to see that. And I asked if there was any other funny raids to watch. I know there were some funny attempts. Maybe I'll just pick one at random, and it'll be good. How about this guy on Gaff? Let's see. That's a funny army composition. Let's watch that.
the Steelers doing? Oh, that wizard. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was fun. Alright, I think we're close to the end here. 26 minutes. That's longer than normal. Alright, let's see. We got 12 three stars, 28 two stars. Average destruction of 75.7, which is a little less than last time. Uh, most heroic is yours truly. Heroic defense is wedge. And, uh, let's just... What is it? What does it look like? I don't want to give away all of his trap locations against the defense that might have had some trick air bombs or something. Okay. Alright guys, let's uh, quick scroll through here. 1 to 10. Remember to visit our webpage, kingjeffreyclan at wordpress.com, maintained by Mendicus and Buxius. Uh, special thanks to all of our elders and co-leaders, and I'm going to try to name them all off the top of my head real quick. Nicholas, Warden, Ked, Matt, Wesley, our co-leader, Buxia, Mendicus, of course. Yes, 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 yes. I think I got them all this time for once. All right, guys. I'll see you next time for our Daily Deuce of Awesome after our 56th war win, hopefully in a day or two. See ya.